Welcome to Let's Learn at Unbound episode number 3. Today we are going to learn logical operators which is a sub part of operators. Logical operators are basically of three types and or and not. Let's take an example. Here is a girl named Ria. She go to a fair with her parents and sees popcorn and ice cream in a shop. And she is now requesting her father to buy both popcorn and ice cream. I'm emphasizing on and. Now, as you know, and is a conjunction in English, right? Which are used to join words. She want her father to buy both the things: popcorn also and ice cream also. But what her father tells her that Ria, you need to choose from either popcorn or ice cream. Now, father used or. Or in English is used. to represent that either you get this thing or this thing so if you have a choice between two then you need to choose one you cannot get both right so just based on this references we are going to learn about logical operators and or and not let's start with definition what is the definition of logical operators logical operators are used on conditional statements just like the example i have shown you in that also there were condition so it's either true or false so here's a table to understand logical and or and not here is an example to check whether it will give true or false now here is return 5 greater than 6 now this condition got false because 5 is less than 6 but here it is written 5 is less than 10 now this condition is true but the output we are getting is false why because it says it returns true if both statements are true if one of the statement also got false then it will give the output as false not true here let's see the example now you know 5 is not greater than 6 it's false and 5 is less than 10 it's true but now unlike to end condition it gives true here why so because it says or so here the requirement changes the requirement are that one of the statement should be true if the other one is false then also it will give the answer as true because one of the statement got true move to not operator what is the syntax of not it's not x here i have written not x what was x 5 is greater than 6 reverse the result returns false if the result is true now you know that this statement the 5 that 5 is greater than 6 is false trick whatever the x value you have either it can be true or false whatever you are getting in as answer write it so here it is false so i'm writing false now it has not before it so so it says not false so what is not false it's true value so just like the description it says reverse the results if you are getting the answer as false write true and if you are getting the answer as true write false let's learn the flow chart of logical and so the flow chart is just like the table so what happens here are two values just like the previous example there was 5 5 and 6 and let's write 5 is less than 10 so here are x and y value is x true no so it will return to false so is a program you can see this program contains three variable a b and c and here we have use if else condition the first if condition says if a which is 10 greater than 0 and 10 which is b is greater than 0 then print the numbers are greater than 0 now if one condition also get false it will skip that statement because minus 10 is not greater than 0 so it will skip the statement and move to the next now 
Now else condition have no conditions for itself. So we will again print this statement. And here is an output. Here we have flowchart for logical or. Any one condition should be true to get a true output, right? Now as our x got false, so it will move to this area. Now seeing one of the value is false, it will move to the another value which is y. Now y is true, so it will move to the true part and you will get a true output. We have a program. So first you need to check the if else condition. So here a is 10, so it means 10 is greater than 0 or minus 10 is greater than 0. So let's see. Here we are using OR operator. It says only one of the condition needs to be true. So one condition we got true, but the another got false. So if you need a true output, you just need only one condition true and which we have. So here the compiler will give either of the numbers is greater than 0. Both the conditions are false. It will give false. So our output we got is correct. For logical not, the syntax is not x. Here we have only one variable which can be either true or false. Now remember in not case, the reverse of whatever you are getting will be the output. If it will be true, then you will be getting an false output. Let's see a program for not x. Now as it's true, it will give the output as false, right? So no, so it will skip this statement. Now here you can see there are two logical operator used. First is not and second one is or. So first we are focusing on or operator. Never there are multiple operators used. We always follow a rule of left to right. So here it says when 10 is divided by 3, will give a remainder of 0. Now this symbol is used to give a remainder. Got false, right? Now when 10 divided by 5 will give a remainder of 0? Yes. Now as one of the condition got true, so the output will be true. Now remember, we have one more operator here. It's not. And not says whenever you get a value in true, you have to re reverse it and you will get a value of false. So as the condition got false, it will skip this statement and will go to the else part and will print 10 is divisible by either 3 or 5 as an output. Now, just like previous example, we had two operators, not and or. There was a huge confusion which operators need to be evaluate first. So let's understand this case. In the case of multiple operators, Python always evaluate the expression from left to right. So here's a program. Now I want you to evaluate this program by yourself. And here is the output for this. Evaluate it by yourself. If you still have any doubts, you can write in the comment box. Thanks for watching. Keep watching us. Like, share and subscribe. Bye-bye.